Let's see about some ventricular rhythms. Let's see about the premature ventricular contraction. So when there is a premature ventricular contraction, it is abnormal heartbeat in which the ventricle contracts. If we can see this, the ventricle contract early without receiving signals from the AV node. Here we can see that from the signals from AV node it's not coming. It is originating from here. So therefore we are having problem. In normal sinus rhythm it will be from SA node to AV node bundle of his and right and left bundle branch and it goes to the Purkinje's. But in the premature ventricular contraction it is not like that. And that's why patient is having arrhythmia and ventricle contracts early without receiving signals from the AV node and it may interfere the pathway of the heart. It is also called as a heart palpitations. Most commonly it is seen in the children and in adult if they are having anxiety, excessive caffeine drink or some medication will also cause the premature ventricular contractions. Let's continue with the premature ventricular contractions. So PVC are the extra beats which occur from the ectopic focus on the ventricular wall. The focus is usually below the bifurcation of bundle of his. Normal persons see this with smoking, alcohol or coffin ingestion. It also occur due to MI or some atherosclerotic heart disease. It may be unifocal. So from one spot of the one ventricular wall, it may be multifocal. So it may be two or more different spot or foci on the ventricular wall. Let's see some PVC changes in ECG and some PT implications for that. So what are the characteristics of PVC? Rhythm will be irregular, rate is normal. Here we can see that the absent of P wave. We cannot recognize the P wave and bizarre QRS complex. We can see that the QRS complex are not equal. If this is greater than 6 then it is abnormal. PVC is greater than 100 then it is called couplet. Here this is a unifocal PVC. It is identical in shape. If unifocal PVC we, we, we can continue with the exercise stress test because it is due to some hypoxia or electrical abnormality. This is single PVC. So as a physiotherapist, what is our duty? This is not abnormal. If it is greater than 6, then only it is abnormal. If it is multifocal, then it is abnormal. That's why unifocal PVC, it is occur due to stress, caffeine intake, and electrolyte imbalance or hypoxia so we can continue with our exercise. Let's see multifocal PVC. So what are cause for it? Heart disease like myocardial infarction, cardiomyopathy, mitral valve prolapse and let's see about the ECG changes with multifocal PVC. Here it is more than one in shape. This is premature and wide. We can see that this is premature and wide slurred bizarre QRS complex followed by the T wave. Here we can see this is the bizarre QRS complex and the followed by the T wave. As we are physiotherapist, so we need to know about the physiotherapeutic implications for PVC and ECG. So let's see if it is bigeminy means every other bit. Bigemini means every other beat. So this is bigemini unifocal PVC. So remember when there is a bigemini with unifocal PVC it is abnormal because patient is having problem and they cannot continue the exercise. That's why we need to stop the exercise and it is our duty to refer them to their physician. If it is trigemini every third beat we can see here this is first second and third beat this is again abnormal 
and we need to stop exercise refer them to the physician if it is quadrigemini means every fourth beat this is first second third and fourth beat so quadrigemini pvc every fourth beat this is again abnormal we need to stop the exercise and refer them to their physician pvc means premature ventricular contraction so ventricular contraction is premature if it is single then it's okay if it is multiple then it's bad that's why bigemini trigemini or quadrigemini it's bad it is not good for our heart and we need to stop the exercise and refer to the physician let's see supraventricular tachycardia so what are the characteristic of rhythm and rate specially it is the origination is at or above the atrioventricular node heart rate will be greater than 150 beats per minute so 300 150 and this small boxes we can count so this is greater than 150 beats per minute the p wave of atrial contraction are buried or hidden within the waves of beat means with hidden within the qrs this is p wave QRS, but the QRS starts from here, and the P is hidden in between the QRS. What are the causes for supraventricular tachycardia? Coronary artery disease, myocardial infarction, especially the high blood pressure or enlarged means cardiomyopathy or heart valve disease, coronary artery bypass graft. These all are the causes of supraventricular tachycardia. Let's see. treatment of supraventricular tachycardia tachycardia is always occur due to high intake of caffeine so we need to stop that caffeine drink like coffee or some uh, alcohol consumption we need to stop we need to stop valsalva when maneuver this is all about the medical intervention but we are physiotherapist so what are physiotherapeutic implications for supraventricular tachycardia let's have a look on it when patient is having supraventricular tachycardia ventricular does not have a sufficient time to fill so cardiac output output is already reduced arrhythmia may also lead to the ventricular fibrillation supraventricular tachycardia lead to the arrhythmia it may lead to the ventricular fibrillation and death so this is very dangerous because of arrhythmia we need, uh, we need to stop exercise and refer immediately to their physician so this is uh, as a physiotherapist our duty let's see something about focal ventricular tachycardia it is an abnormality of rapid heart beat which is caused by abnormal firing or firing of electrical signals in the ventricle this is an abnormal sign and which is caused by specific area in the ventricle this is called the focus or foci the ventricular tachycardia is abnormal firing of electrical signals in the ventricle which is interfere with electrical signals coming from the sa node when there is a rapid heart beat that's why the ventricle doesn't get enough time to fill before it contracts so there is a decreased blood flow at rest so that's why the blood flow to the rest of the body is compromised and it may lead to some dizziness high light headedness patient may feel unconscious and sometime it may lead to cardiac arrest that's why ventricular tachycardia is not let's good let's see about ventricular tachycardia so first what is the characteristic of ventricular tachycardia it may be paroxysmal or sustained the rate will be greater than 100 beats per minute we can see this is 300 150 and 100 so rhythm is regular if it is 3 or greater than 3 premature ventricular contraction at the rate of 100 beats per minute it is known as ventricular tachycardia here we can see that absence of p wave so rhythm is regular but in ecg we can see that the absent of p wave and 
it is not related to the QRS complex. The QRS duration is greater than 0.12 seconds. So it is affected. And what are the causes for this? Let's see. First, myocardial infarction, high blood pressure, hypokalemia or caffeine intake can lead to the ventricular tachycardia. Especially when we are doing exercise, testing or giving exercise, we need to monitor the ventricular tachycardia in myocardial infarcted patient and the high blood pressure patient. Because we always have some kind of difficulty during the exercises. So we need to monitor the ventricular tachycardia in this patient. Let's see some treatment. If we are seeing the ventricular tachycardia on ECG testing, patient need medical attention because here heart rate is compromised. So we need lignocaine and what are, as a physiotherapist, what is PT implication? This is very life threatening condition because ventricular don't have any time to relax. So ventricular don't have time to relax, it lead to the arrhythmia and ventricular fibrillation which is more life threatening. That's why we need to immediately stop the exercise, refer to them their physician. Let's see what is ventricular fibrillation. The ventricular fibrillation is disorganized electrical impulses in the heart lower chamber. Here we can see this is disorganized electrical impulses which cause heart to stop beating means sudden cardiac arrest. Here the ventricle is quivers uselessly. Rather than quivering, the ventricle can uh, pump the blood instead of quivering. So because of quivering, the blood and oxygen doesn't go to our brain and which is very dangerous. That's why uh, it is life threatening and patient need immediate medical attention and that's why defibrillator is necessary during ventricular fibrillation. Let's see ventricular fibrillation or sudden death. So what is the description or characteristic for it? When BP means blood pressure immediately leads to zero, therefore we have decreased cardiac output. There will be rapid and multiple electrical uh, discharges from myocardium. The rhythm and rate will be irregular 300 to 600 beats per minute. We can see in this ECG like this is big line. This is 300 beats per minute. Heart rate is 300 to 600 beats per minute. Rhythm is extremely irregular. We can notice from here. P wave is absent. PR interval is not applicable and the QRS duration is fibrillatory baseline. We can see that. So what are the causes for fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation? It may be coronary artery disease, myocardial infarction, digital toxicity, CABG, mitral valve prolapse, etc. The most common cause of cardiac arrest is ventricular fibrillation. What is the treatment for it? If the patient is admitted in the emergency department, immediately he need the defibrillator. If we are physiotherapist and we are there, so what is our duty? As a physiotherapist, we, our duty is to stop the exercise, refer them to their physician because here compromisation of cardiac output and it is very complica complicated as for physiotherapist and it is a life threatening condition. That's why we are referring them to their physician and we are stopping the exercise. Atrial fibrillation. The characteristic of atrial fibrillation is arrhythmia. It is occurred due to the multiple electrical impulses which is living from the atrium. If we see the rhythm abnormality, is it, it is irregularly irregular rhythm. Heart rate, it may be 350 to 650 beats per minute. Here there is no real P wave. It is fibrillatory and the fine in course. We can see that there is no real P wave. QRS duration is also less than 0.12 second. Let's see some causes of it. If the patient is taking digoxin, so if they are having digoxin toxicity, they may lead to the atrial fibrillation. 
if there is a decreased conduction velocity at atrioventricular node again atrial fibrillation will be there so what is medical management beta blocker calcium channel blocker for example diltiazem or verapamil are the medical management but we are physiotherapist so what is pt implication for atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation is life threatening for some patient so we need to stop exercise and refer them to the physician and prepare defibrillation guys if you have any doubts related to any topics in npte or pce please let me know in my comment section so i can make videos on that